And now, Israel is known as the startup nation and a global leader in the field of drones. Well, Airways offers a software-based artificial intelligence that allows any drone of any type to be part of an autonomous drone fleet and perform multiple tasks in a variety of fields. Joining us now with more on this innovative Israeli technology is Eyal Zol, Airways co-founder and CEO. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So drones are being used across multiple industries such as commerce, agriculture, even medicine. Why is this and what does the future of drone technology look like? Well, you know, first, to answer your question in the most simplest way, they're just doing a great job, right? Replacing us as human beings. But I think that uh, the answer lies in that, that the technology for drones has got to a maturity point where they can really prove their significant help and aiding different kind of industries providing uh, a very well and efficient uh, a solution to the market, right? So we take about uh, drone deliveries uh, and, you know, it, it was a, a vision back then, if you remember that uh, uh, Jeff Bezos from Amazon uh, said that by, by 2018 you're going to see drone deliveries and it took a bit, uh, quite more time. Looking at today, we see in the U.S. markets different kind of cities already starting commercial drone deliveries and they can prove how it is really uh, efficient and a safer way to travel goods compared to other meds, uh, methods of travel. Uh, and you know, that's exactly uh, everything regarding drones. They're already proving their uh, efficient commercial activity in different kinds of uh, verticals, such as uh, delivery, inspection, security. Uh, and the future is bright, right? Because uh, they really bring uh, a very significant effort in order to help us humans just perform our daily jobs in a more safe and efficient way. Okay, now tell us about Airways. I mean, why is your technology so crucial to this market? Right, so Airways is a, a company that is focused on developing what is called the uh, uh, UTM, unmanned traffic management. Basically, uh, we are the one to manage the new skies of drones and even air taxis in the future. Uh, and Airways was founded by ex-Israeli Air Force personnel. Myself, I was an air crew for more than 15 years. Uh, and it is known that we bring really a unique global experience on how to manage complex airspace, right? Israel is like very congested in terms of traffic. Uh, and we had a method on how to manage uh, a lot, let's say, uh, many different aerial vehicles in the same dynamic airspace as Israel. We took our know-how and we brought it to the uh, drone ecosystem. And we said, well, the problem is that they're going to have more drones than the traditional aviation uh, traffic can manage. Uh, and what we did, we developed what is known to be the first AI-based UTM. Uh, basically what we do, we try to mimic the traditional aviation where you have the pilots and the air traffic controller, where we are the automated controller, uh, which can let different kind of drones to operate simultaneously in the same airspace, uh, safe and efficiently. And by that, you know, really prove the market. Now, you say the future is bright. The global drone market is estimated to reach approximately $50 billion uh, by the year 2026, which is really right around the corner. I mean, what can you tell us about the projections for this industry? Well, I think, you know, the market did its corrections uh, from the hype they had, you know, when the, uh, it first got to recognize drone technology back in the uh, last decade. Uh, decade. And uh, uh, I think the numbers are really more or less uh, are getting to be accurate because we see the revenues from the drone market today and we see uh, you know, how it is uh, growing significantly by the years, more countries adopting uh, favorable regulations. Here in the US, they had a lot of changing regulations in order to let companies to start to operate. Uh, so when I look at those numbers and I see the entire ecosystem of drones and I see a lot of companies you know, maintaining their growth, uh, bringing more solutions to the market, uh, I think you know, the numbers are quite accurate and they're just proving that drones is not uh, in a fiction, it's already a reality for different kind of, uh, of verticals. And so it really appears that Airways is sort of the drone traffic control uh, of the future. And are there cities uh, around the world that are, that are gearing up for you know, a pilot of this technology or that that's, it, it's operating in those cities already? Yes, I can say, you know, uh, Airways got recognized globally when we conducted uh, what is uh, known to be the world's largest UTM trial here in Israel. Uh, we started in Hadera and then we moved to Tel Aviv and now we are already in Beersheba and Yerucham and all other cities. Uh, and we've found out that multiple cities globally, in Europe, in the US, in the Far East and even here in the Middle East, have uh, contacted us and said, uh, we are already ready for scalable UTM deployments, right? So if you have the solutions and you are the, currently the only one that can support multiple drone operations, uh, we are ready because uh, our cities are looking for, let's say, mature services 
that can help the citizen get a better you know, uh, service from the municipality. Uh, so there are a lot of customers and the market is ready. Uh, I cannot disclose yet uh, upcoming deployments, uh, uh, but you will see by the end of this year, um, multiple cities in large locations, both in the US and Europe, already gonna start to adopt and you're gonna see a lot of drones flying over your heads. Our part as always is exactly to be the company that to manage this congested traffic, right? It's gonna be, it has to be safe, it has to be efficient, it has to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, more efficient than, you know, than traditional traffic today. Uh, and that's what we're working with all of our partners in the industry uh, because we think, you know, that's the next revolution and it's, it's coming. You need to be ready. The next revolution, absolutely. Eyal So, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you again for having me. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.